Hello, welcome to Workable Miniatures. I'm Jim, and today we're going to be going through three cheap and easy options for paint storage. The storage will be for Army Painter Speed Paints. It'll be using XPS Foam and Luon, and in any instance, you can swap or replace the foam with Luon or vice versa. Let's get to it. On a half inch strip of XPS foam, I draw a line one quarter inch from the edge and begin drawing one inch circles all the way down. I had previously measured the diameter of the bottles to just under one inch. After drawing one circle on each end of the second row, I then draw another line one quarter inch on the opposite side and then cut the remainder away. I then cut the edge down one quarter inch away from the nearest circle. Here I took the lazy way and cut in from the edge to burn away the drawn circles. However, if you want to take the time, you can make this look significantly better by first drilling or cutting a small hole through the middle of each circle, disconnecting the hot wire from under the table, and then refeeding it through the foam and back into the table. You can then turn the heating element on and cut out the hole carefully without having to cut through the frame of the body. Alternatively, you can drill the holes or you can cut it out using an X-Acto knife. If you decide to drill it, use a 1-inch spade bit and make sure to keep it sharp to have clean cut holes and don't waste a Forstner bit on XPS foam. I've cut the body in two since I'm not actually going to be using this myself. This is just an example of something easy to make. I cut strips of foam that is equal to the length and width of two other pieces and I cut thin strips to pretty up the edges where I cut in to remove the circles. If you take the time to remove these holes with an X-Acto knife or drill bit, then you can skip this. With everything cut, I go Rolling Stone circa 66 and paint everything black. With super glue, I adhere the pieces together. If I was going to use this as my paint stand, I would use a little super glue and PVA glue. When using super glue with XPS foam, use sparingly as too much can melt the foam. This is the assembled product. As you can see, if you use foam thicker than half inch as I used here, you may not be able to read the names of the paint very well as they will sit too deep. If you need to move your paint stand constantly, then glue cardboard or half inch foam under it to give you a solid base. For the next option, you'll need to know the height of the bottles as well as their diameter. Using a pair of calipers, I can quickly and accurately measure the diameter at just under one inch, and then I measure the height rounding up to three and one eighths inch. And then use a table saw to cut quarter inch luon. The base is 12 and a quarter inches by three and three quarters inches. The long side strips are 12 and one quarter inches by one inch. And the short end strips are three and a half inches by one inch. Using wood glue and a nail gun, I assemble them carefully. If you use a nail gun, use short nails and be sure you're driving them plumb. Since the luon is so thin, if you don't drive the nails level, you're liable to bust them through the sides. I then lightly scorched the wood with a benzomatic butane hand torch and gave a good coat of linseed oil. Each tray holds 12 Army Painter dropper bottles, and this is my painting desk now, which I built years ago out of recycled scrap wood, but I added a little width to the base of the two top trays and then cut dado slots into the frame of my desk so they can be used as drawers. I need to make one more tray on the bottom left side, and then they'll hold all the Army Painter metallics, speed paints, washes, and effects paints. I store all my war paints in a lazy manner. I hated the plastic insert trays of the Mega Paint Set box, and I decided to drill one inch holes through a sheet of Luon, and then I cut to the interior size of the box. This allowed me to stand the bottles of paint up and provided it space to easily remove them. Adding a drop of color to the top of the bottles make it easy to locate the color you need as well. As I purchased more paints, I simply dropped a sheet of cardboard on top of the Luan and then left the Luan to reinforce the cardboard against the weight of the now 108 bottles of paint that filled this box. 
that's going to be it for today. I hope you learned something or were inspired to build your own storage. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time. I bid you a final farewell. Until the next video.